Welcome to the Java Essential .com. So we had question like that which is better between implementing Runnable versus extended state class or what is the difference between them? Before answering this, I uh, to tell you that in Java we can create a thread by two ways either implementing the Runnable interface or by extending the thread class. So what are the difference between them two? The first one is while extending the thread class we can't extend any other class because Java doesn't provide the multiple inheritance. But when we are using the implement runnable interface we can extend a class. So we can save a space for your class to extend any other class while implementing the runnable interface. But the significant dif difference is that when you are extending the thread class each of your thread create a unique object but when we, you are using the implement runnable interface it shares the same object to the multiple threads. I will show you this with an example. So here we have three classes the extend thread class and the implement runnable interface. So whenever you are starting a thread for a new object counter value is incremented by one. So here is our main method. So when we are getting the new object that TC1 and uh, we are starting the thread with the TC1 one new object is created for this thread I'll show you then yeah so for the TC1 a new object is created for which the counter value is 0 counter is 0 and after incrementing it is it will become 1 same happen for the 3 3 also new object is created and counter is uh, initialized by the 0 and after incrementing it become once so that is the case in the extending the thread this will happen in extending the thread so for all the tc1 tc2 and tc3 counter is 1 while when you are using the runnable interface if one object is created when you, you are creating the t1 and uh, when you are using the tc that is t1 dot start then the counter is already initialized by the 0 and after incrementing it become 1 now when you are using when you are doing like a t2 dot start the same object is shared that is the t1 object the same object is shared by the T2 also and the same object is shared by the T3 also. So these shared by they are sharing the same object TC and T T3 also. T1, T2 and T3. For this, now what happen is the counter value is incremented by 1 for the T1 and now T2 share the same object. So the counter is incremented by 1 so it becomes 2 and for t3 counter is in incremented by 1 so it becomes 3 yeah so here is same object is here while here is the new every time new different object is created I'll show you with the console output here is the output so you can see the difference between them thank you for watching